Something really cool arrived today and I want to show you this. So I ordered and paid for a couple of microphones from Behringer. This is the new B906, which we're testing out today. And coming up on a future video, we're gonna test out their version of the SM57, which is the SL75C. And look, it's opening itself. Awesome. <laughs> let's do a quick unboxing of the Behringer B906. So let's take this off. I love the fact Behringer include these hard cases with some of their microphones. It's an awesome upgrade. We get some instructions, we get the microphone, and we also get the clip. Now my first impressions of this is, well, it actually has all the same options as the Sennheiser on the back for different EQ uh, curves and so forth. But my first impressions of it is, it feels a little bit plasticky in the hands, but the actual grill feels pretty good. So let's see how it sounds. Welcome back to the channel folks. My name's Shane, you're listening to the Behringer B906 Dynamic Instrument Microphone. Let's take a look. Here's the Behringer B906 up close. This is a front address microphone. You need to make sure that the front is facing the sound source. They've labeled it as well. On the back, if you have this side facing your amplifier, for example, or snare drum, it's not gonna sound any good. You need to make sure you've got the front facing the actual instrument or whatever it is you're recording. On the back of the microphone, we get a three-way switch. In the center, we have the flat EQ option. To the right, we have the enhanced top end, so it's adding more top end, and this is the top of the microphone this way. It makes it easier to see what's going on. If you flip it all the way to this side, it's actually gonna drop out a little bit of the top end. Without question, the B906 looks a lot like the Sennheiser E906, and it has all of the same options. It is slightly larger in terms of size, but not much, and in terms of weight in the hand, they both feel about the same. The Behringer B906 is a super cardioid polar pattern, so if you've got this side picking up the sound source, it's not gonna pick up a lot of sound from the sides or from the rear. This makes it great for isolating instruments. In terms of the build quality for the price, it's built really well. Most of the top section of the microphone is plastic, minus the actual grill, and minus this, which is die cast. So that's where you'll be plugging in the actual microphone cable. It's great to see they didn't skimp and put a plastic part there. So it's built pretty well considering the price. Let's check out each of the three EQ positions on the back of the microphone, currently set to flat. I'm gonna play the same thing, hopefully three times. Neck pickup on my Fender Original Series Telecaster going into my Blues Deluxe, no effects. <laughs> And now with the bright boost on, here we go. And now with a low pass filter, which is allowing less of the top end, here we go. Yeah. 
All right, let's try the same thing now with some distortion. Thanks to the Cerberus pedal from Nuex. I'm on the distortion channel and the amp is loud. It's up at gig volume, so I had to turn the input on my audio interface down just a little bit. This is bridge pickup. <laughs> Bright mode. And now with less top end. Alright, so this part of the video I'm going to compare the Behringer B906 to the Sennheiser E906 in a few different ways and we're also going to take a look at the switches on the back of each microphone. Alright, let's start with the B906 and then we'll go over to the Sennheiser and see how they compare. Now I'm going to start with everything on the flat mode on the microphones, bridge pick up with a bit of dirt and then we'll try clean as well. Here we go. to the Sennheiser E906. Back to the B906 now for some treble boost. And now back to the E906 with more treble. Here we go. And now back to the Behringer microphone with less high end. Here we go. back to the E906. Let's try a bit of a clean test now, just with both of the microphones in their neutral or flat mode. Let's give this a shot, starting with the Sennheiser E906. This is neck pickup. And over to the Behringer. Alright, so after listening back to the takes, what do I think of the tones? They're pretty similar, they're not identical, but they're similar enough that if you're on a budget, you could absolutely get away with the Behringer B906. 
Now I paid full price for the Behringer and I also paid full price for the Sennheiser. And I gotta tell you, there's not a lot in it sound wise and build quality wise is very similar as well. It's kind of shocking when I first took this out of the box, I didn't think it was built as well as the Sennheiser. And to some extent, it does have a little bit more plastic on it, especially at the back where you can select the different types of EQ options. The uh, actual Sennheiser is metal all through that section, whereas the Behringer is plastic on the top, but it's metal on the actual shaft and it's metal on the shaft on the Sennheiser. But this ring that goes around the top of the Sennheiser is actually plastic. I thought it was metal, but it isn't. So the Behringer is pretty much built exactly the same. Now, in terms of physical size, they're quite close to each other. The Behringer is slightly larger. So there's two things I noticed about the Behringer microphone just when setting it up in comparison to the Sennheiser. The Behringer microphone clip is horrendous. I would almost be inclined to just throw this out and buy another Sennheiser one if it fits. It does, the Sennheiser one. You could throw it around in a circle like this. It's never gonna come out. Whereas the Behringer one, you pop it in and there's just no tension. It's really slippery. I had to adjust it a couple of times because it started to slip down just probably from the vibrations of the actual cabinet. Now, another thing that's interesting about this microphone on the back where you can select the EQ options, if you select either left or right from center, getting back to center is a huge pain in the ass. I kept slipping I, and I'm doing it now. You really got to be, you got to have one hand on the microphone and one hand on the switch to make sure that there's no movement. If there is any movement in the microphone, when you do that, it slips all the way across and there's nothing you can do about it. Now that's just a small, a minor little complaint, but yeah, getting it into the center is actually really, really awkward. So just be aware of that. If you are gonna change the EQ options on the back of the microphone, just make sure that you do it with a, a second hand on the microphone. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep going to either extreme left or extreme right. Now the Sennheiser is not perfect like that either. You need a little screwdriver to actually notch this up or down. I don't mind that because it means if you get it in the position that you like, you're never gonna accidentally knock it out of that position unless, of course, you want to, and then you gotta find a screwdriver. So you can't, I can't get this to move with just my finger. You've really gotta use a little screwdriver just to click that down. That's just one of those things. It's not a bad thing, but it kind of sucks as well because if you don't have a screwdriver handy, you'll be like, oh no, how do I change this? So yeah, there's a few things about both of them that annoy me, but the, the biggest concern about this microphone, not even a concern, the biggest sort of nitpicky thing is this clip. It's a piece of junk. I would be inclined just to go out and buy a Sennheiser one for the Behringer. It clips in beautifully. You get so much more actual grip on the microphone. So overall, it would be a, a small upgrade price to pay. You're getting a microphone that sounds very, very similar to the original uh, at a far less price. So yeah, I'm pretty wrapped with this. Now, I wanted to get one of these because I love what I'm getting out of the Sennheiser and I love what I get out of the SM57 with the Sennheiser. So that'll be the next video on the channel coming up. It'll be the Behringer counterparts versus the Sennheiser and Shaw counterparts to see if I can still get the tones that I love recorded on my computer. So thanks again for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. As of shooting this video, the only other video I've seen online is Behringer's promo about this one. I almost picked up the wrong one. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of videos out there as of shooting this, so I hope it's helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My name's Shane. Subscribe if you want to hear how the SM57 sounds. Catch you soon.